Check, check, one, two, one, two. What's up, Carolines? Hey. I feel all alone over here. Well, you be, all right, well, I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. Yes. Stephanie yes. Sachs. I'm Gigi McGuire. And I ain't got no motherfucking mic. Oh, here we go. And I'm L'Oreal. <laughs> So this is our first time at Caroline, so this is a big deal for us. And I do want to say before we get started that we do appreciate everybody for being here tonight. This means a lot to us. Are y'all nervous? No. no. You guys should be nervous because you guys are going to have nervous. to participate. How many people in here on a, are on a date? Damn. Well, you know, lip service is for the single people. <laughs> Where's all my ladies at, though? Okay, I see a couple of guys. Y'all are smart. <laughs> and welcome back to Stephanie. She's been MIA. Yes, I miss you guys. Fresh off the plane. I miss all the girls. God bless you guys. So we're going to get it started because we want to make sure we get through everything tonight. So let's bring to the stage our first two guests. Von DiCarlo. And Jessica, now you know Jessica as the real BB Judy on Instagram because we all use her Kaleidoscope hair products. Yes, yes. And she's popping entrepreneur. So, Vonda Carlo and Jessica, let's do it. Jessica has a book out right now as well, which I know we're going to get into and talk about. You have your, oh. I'm loud. I could just scream. Oh. Hey, y'all, what's up? <laughs> Happy Women's History Month, ladies. <laughs> Wait, can we hear your mic? Try, try it again. Is her mic on? I think so. Let's see. Talk on it. You know how to, girl, you could put your mouth a little closer. <laughs> Ew. Damn. <laughs> now, just for transparency, uh, for Vonda Carlo, for Jessica, are you guys single or are you in a relationship? Single. It's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating. And we just decided that we'll date exclusively. So does that so mean that means you're in a relationship? That means I'm in a relationship. Yes. You guys have had the talk. It's official. Did you, the you have to strong arm started. him? Or what, did you have to strong arm no, him? No, it was a mutual decision. We both decided because we, you know, we grown and we both have been in relationships, long-term relationships. And it's like, why are we going to spend all this energy trying to figure out? you know, putting energy into other people. Let's see if we work. Okay. And then if it don't, you know, we got time to go, you know, somewhere else later. So does that mean no condoms? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the whole reason I say yes, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's good. <laughs> now, Jessica, I feel like you were in a long-term relationship. You weren't? I feel like for a while you had a man. We seen him on the gram. That's not true? That, that never happened. Oh, OK. All right. I don't know. You know You know what? You're around a lot of people. So sometimes we might see a picture and be like, oh, that must be her boyfriend. Well, I mean, if the picture got deleted, you know. Okay. You know what that means. So he just doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so what's the rule, right, when you break up? Because sometimes, ladies, we break up, and men too. And we think we might get back together. What's the rule on deleting pictures? Ooh. Do you do it right away? Do you archive it? Right away. <laughs> I don't even wait. As soon as we get in an argument, I start deleting pictures and blocking all that. Bye. Well, if you don't post the pictures to begin with, then you ain't got nothing to delete. I like that answer. And you keep everybody out your damn business, too. Well, I've only been dating him for eight months, so there's no pictures yet. So. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? It's only been eight months. You're supposed to have a picture from the first date so you can show your grandkids when you know you Oh, old. no, it ain't right? none of their business. <laughs> what do you they got to mind their business. First but, of all, I don't have no grandkids yet. No, I'm saying that <laughs> might end up being their grandfather. That's what I'm saying. You got to keep the pictures, keep the memories right, going. Right, and when we get there, how many potential grandfathers do they need to know I done slid uh, through? <laughs> But you don't oh, have him. That, that could have been him. your granddaddy. <laughs> but and you, him too. And him too. You and can't have a hundred first dates with your, the person you're going to end up being with. That's why I'm saying at least the first date you're supposed to take the picture. But Just not in case post he kills it, not you. Post it, not no, post not it. post it. You keep it yeah. in your own phone. Just in case he kills you. Oh, no. Well, I, have pictures, I have pictures of every date. 
every date, you our little to. Jamaican trip, the whole nine. Locations, L- write yeah. it down. His but address. not on Instagram. What about, do you have those sneak pictures when he gets up to go to the bathroom and you're like, just oh, in hell case. Yeah. What? what? I don't do that. All up in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> just in case somebody gets slick. <laughs> this ain't your bed no more, bitch. <laughs> Hashtag not YouTube. <laughs> now, Jessica, what's your rule though, as far as you know? You're a businesswoman. We look at, we look at you as an entrepreneur. You're a funny, great sense of humor. But what's the rule when it comes to men on your gram? Oh, I've learned recently that I, I definitely don't need the one to post it. I, I don't want to post it because if you post it too fast and then when you take it down, everybody asks questions and then they all in your comments. I really think that even deleting it. <laughs> I think that's not how your girlfriend feels oh, sitting please, next to I'm you. <laughs> She's like, what's the like issue, Pam? What? <laughs> I rock with that. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, because for real, because I mean, social media can can be a, a it can definitely fuck up your relationship. I, you know, I, they can bring old people pictures. know your business the better. Right. A hundred percent. It's trust. It's, that's a fact. Especially if you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> but it, I mean, if he's cheating, you don't want to embarrass yourself. You're right. posting pictures all over, the, all over Instagram, and he's doing all these crazy things. What know? are some things that a man can do that's embarrassing to you? Just for the guys here, so y'all know what not to do. She said What's, embarrass himself. That's what not, she said. A, a, a thing, something a guy could do to embarrass you is cheat on you. For what? Cheating, period. Cheating, 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 but, cheating whack, but with yeah. a whack bitch, it's like, that's, you're so embarrassing. Like, damn. Cheating is one thing, and it could be embarrassing for you as a woman, but it's really on him. I think if you're in a relationship with someone, what's really important to me is acknowledgement. If you don't acknowledge me, But you that's don't post them. But you don't post them. What kind of, right. you know, make me understand yeah. it. That doesn't make any goddamn I'm not you talking about to no. him. <laughs> she want a head nod. Not, you don't have to, <laughs> When you're ready to acknowledge each other on Instagram, but I'm talking about in person. You ever go, hey, this is my man, and he's like, hey, this is my friend? (laughs) No. You know my whole girl. Hey, never. The fuck? (laughs) Me neither. You know. I'm talking about them. I would have murdered them. (laughs) (laughs) All right, that's embarrassing. What's some other things a guy can do that's embarrassing to you? Mm. Look crazy, dress crazy. Oh, she says stare at other girls. Post man selfies. Man selfies, That's yes. embarrassing. Like, bro, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> it's only one girl you're in this relationship. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> oh, you know what else is embarrassing when they tag celebrities, like, uh, that don't know them? And my bro, like, oh. working with the bro. And they be in the background in the corner of the picture, me and my bro, Drake, and he over there. No, 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 you don't know him. He was, you was at the concert. That's not your boy. We don't need you tagging people you don't know. <laughs> Well, how about if the ex is all up on his Instagram and he's responding back to her? Yeah, cut that shit out. Heart eyes, all that Instagram stuff. Don't put no heart eyes and nothing. Hearts, emojis. Get the fuck out. Not from exes. I thought you hit him for that. Don't you just smack? Don't you just? You said smack him? You're not allowed to hit people. Who you smacking? (laughs) Jesus. Smack him. (laughs) She go right for the punch in the face. I'm I'm from New Orleans. I was about to say the same thing. Y'all know where she's from now. <laughs> what about if you don't have no social media at all? Is that somebody that you should be aware of? That's amazing. Yeah. That's it depends amazing. on the age. Wow. <laughs> it depends on the age. Because wow. some grown ass men over 40 plus don't really get down like that. They and got I a motherfucking Instagram, sis. You just don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> they lurking. While you think they ain't watching, they watching everything, okay? <laughs> oh, lurking. I watch everything too. I'm a creep. They got a Finsta. I see everything. A fake ass Insta. <laughs> I love that little activity status, too. <laughs> yeah, you online, you ain't say good morning, beautiful, yet. What's up with that? But you can cut that <laughs> off, though. Well, let me ask you this, because there's a lot of things in the news about men having babies by other women, even though they're in a relationship. Is love unconditional? Could you be with somebody, even if they messed up Ladies. like that? No. Help raise the, the next baby? What if the baby's really cute? <laughs> ain't no baby that cute. Damn that kid. Let me tell you something. No, you cannot convince me. Love and respect is the same thing to me. You can't have one without the other. So if you don't respect me, you don't love me. Go love that hoe and that baby. 
have you a whole And good luck. Family. I ain't raising nobody's kids. Okay. Because guess what? He wouldn't raise yours. But let me ask you this. If My a guy, if a guy cheats on you, does <laughs> that mean he doesn't love you? Oh, yeah, oh, that's a good point. So. Yeah. If a guy no, cheats on you, does that mean he doesn't love you? Not no, necessarily. No, not necessarily. They're going to be in love and still cheat. It could, like, yeah. men, there's a lot of men that separate, well, most men could separate sex and emotion, whereas women, we're attached to our emotions more than men. So I do understand just the physicality of it. However, you could also choose to be single and not have me up in this relationship because you want to have sex with different partners. Like, just be honest with the woman. Maybe she would have said yes to that, too. You know what I'm saying? Some women, if you're honest with them and you say, hey, I'm dating other women, I'm not ready for a relationship yet, she'll be like, all right, let's see where, go where this goes. Let her make the choice. Don't get me all up in this thinking we together and we ain't together. The problem is that guys don't want you to date anybody else. Exactly. I agree. Yes, that's I why agree. they don't tell you. But they definitely cannot take it. And that's called selfish. And if you were a selfish person, be out. So there's a lot of, there's a few guys in the audience. Guys, do you think you. you can separate love and sex? Like if you cheat on a woman, does that mean you don't love her? They don't want to answer? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you right here in the gray shirt. You, Drake, you, Drake. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Drake. Come on, fake Drake. <laughs> you want me to get He said you don't. If you cheat on a woman, you don't love her. Okay. Well, see, or, that, or he doesn't love himself and doesn't know how to love because he had a mother that constantly let men cheat on her and stuff like that. And wow, that was I, deep. I'm wow. just saying. Listen, they, love has to be taught. That has to be taught. Just like you have to teach a man how to treat you and how you want to be treated. You, it, it's learned, it's taught, whatever. You have to be taught right about love. And if you're not, you're never going to be right. You're, never, you're always going to cheat. You're always going to. And to you, you love that person because you're just doing what you've seen done. Mm -hmm. So you can't say that they don't love them. They probably love them. They just don't. They can't get it together. I just feel like some men are more horny than others. They're all horny. Well, I was going to go there with the age. Horny. They have a higher drive, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's a difference course, between course. 25 and 45. So it takes some time to mature, too. And you get to a place sometimes where it's like, all right, I can see the value in my relationship over all of this new pussy. Mm -hmm. It takes a while for some men to get there. How many, yeah, guys, in the, how many guys in the room have gotten to that point? None. Silence yeah. of the lambs. <laughs> and I know this girl, okay. We know some know people in some relationships in here. Y'all ain't clapping. <laughs> Every guy in here is at. like, I should just leave. Now, right what now. about what about if your girl cheats on you? <laughs> Does that mean she doesn't love you? Yeah, it's they can't over. Take it. It's over. They you was mad quiet it. when uh -huh. I asked the other question. <laughs> <laughs> they can't take that. Though. So ladies. Since the ladies in the room, if you no. cheat on your man, does that mean you don't love him? I feel like, yeah. and, and that's another thing. I feel like some women have a higher drive. Like some women just want to go out and get fucked. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nah. Now nah, you gotta that's find some bullshit. Her. I think so. no. like, that's no. then your man no. need your man ain't fuck satisfying you, right. and you go yeah. to another dude. You about to be with that other dude. <laughs> No, but you I ain't got no like, respect for him. No, I feel like, um, if for me, for instance, like I feel like my drive, contrary to popular belief, is not that high. You know what I mean? So I could be with a guy for years and his sex could be trash. You know what I mean? Wow, you could I be with somebody for years. years. <laughs> like, I, like I'll find good parts of it. You know what I mean? I'll find good parts of <laughs> so it. So at no point do you no, stop no, no. him and when, tell him when I cheat. You no, I, I can't I do that shit. Yeah, I mean, when you're with somebody I'm not for a long that. time, the sex. You know, like a guy, like let's just say a guy doesn't have the biggest dick and you like a big dick. You know what I mean? Can't work the middle because so, it's big too little. You know, I, I, like, I, I'm not the listen. type of girl who's going to fall in love with somebody and not be with them because they got a little dick. I'm going to make them feel like they have a really big dick, but right. they have a little dick. Is it? So let me ask you this, Stephanie. Oh, when, I, when, I, when I go out and I feel like I, it's me, but I have like... So by the time it's time for me to get fucked, it's it's over. Like, now, Stephanie, I'm, let me ask I'm you this: If you have a toy, is it okay to have a toy that's bigger than your man's dick? Oh my god! 
Everybody <laughs> said yes. <laughs> no, I disagree. Oh I don't want anything God. penetrating me that's not my, like, I don't, if I got to get a toy, oh that's a, God. I could do bad all by myself place. Y'all know I don't use no toys. If y'all really yeah. listen, I always say that. I never use a toy. I don't do the toy thing, so my man Why not? Because I, I, okay, I just, okay. I need a real dick. Like, a, Amen. A, yeah, attached to a real man. Amen. A real boy. You so get what, what, okay, so my question is, what if you don't want to deal with the the bullshit that comes with the real dick with the real man. Cause then I they have got two, bullshit that comes I got with two too. fingers that I can also use. They work just as well as okay, whatever. So that's the same so thing as a toy. Saying, no, I didn't, I didn't say that I, no, I said that I could use. I didn't say, say I only had two yourself. fingers, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi trying to comfort me like I got two fingers. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, so you're not saying you don't masturbate. You're just saying you don't penetrate Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I masturbate, but I don't use toys. Nothing that I gotta put a battery in, plug into the wall. I don't no, know that's works. good. You're blessed. Good. Don't ever try it. I don't want once to. Once you go back, once you go there, it's no coming back from the no, vibrator. I'm, it's no I feel back, embarrassed man. after I masturbate. So using a toy and going to get one just got me feeling disgusted and thinking about it. Like they're gonna judge me while I'm in the store. Like, look at this nasty bitch with this big pink dick. Oh like, my God. <laughs> why you gotta be? Why'd pink? you gotta say pink? Cause it's Gigi. Gigi crazy. <laughs> but Gigi, Gigi, you use toys. I have my womanizer that I love very much. You know, it's the, is it, right? Is it, yes. Y'all get y'all one. Y'all go find a womanizer now. Now, you know, I was just reading about this toy that they have available now. I was telling y'all that can actually help make you squirt. It's a toy, and they say that this toy can help you squirt, and that if you've never squirted before, a lot of women could squirt off of this. Hold on, let me see if I have it here. Get your phones out, ladies. I some notes. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull this up for y'all, because there is a toy. How many people in here can squirt? Raise your hand, Steph. Right here. It's happened before Y'all lying. With me, but I, I still Raise think it's hands, pee. Raise your hand, Stephanie. It's like a form of pee. I don't believe in it. I think it's pee. It is. And that is pee. It's pee. It's pee. It's come out, I was it like, gross. <laughs> I don't it's understand urine. why somebody would want a toy that makes you do that. Like, it's urine. No. It's a I mess. remember a few times I did it. I was kind of embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, right? I was like, you make a mess. It's like a whole mess. Yeah, it's not cute. I don't, that's not one of my favorite things. And then you're going to have to lay in the spot because you know he ain't going to lay in the spot. <laughs> you know he ain't laying in the spot. That's a whole body size spot. He ain't laying in that shit. Okay, the toy is called the Enjoy, the letter N Joy. They said it's heavy, it has a curved design with round ends. And, uh, heavy and are, curved. Hold on. Enjoy. It's called the Pure Wand, and they said it actually hits your G spot or your P spot, which is the prostate. Your P, P spot, spot, so you can pee on that nigga. Yes. And they said, don't be afraid if you do have to pee a little, because there's all kinds of fluids. Because it's all pee anyway. Pee <laughs> being exchanged, so don't hold yourself back. Oh my God. I don't sell the toy. <laughs> don't bring she it back. You're already skeptical. <laughs> Yeah, bring back your gently used toy and they'll <laughs> <laughs> gently used toy. Ew, Andy, that's so nasty. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave uh, with our first two guests on this question. Who is the most wrong person in this situation? Okay, who is the most wrong in this situation? This is a cheating situation. Is the man who cheated on his wife the person the most wrong? Is the wife who never wanted to have sex? The most wrong, or the mistress who knew about his family and didn't care? The mistress. <laughs> the cheating ass nigga. What's the wrong with y'all? The, the fuck is wrong with y'all? He married. Uh, he went to go and the everybody. Most wrong in that I'm a, situation. I'm going to say all three parties are wrong. All three parties are wrong equally. Don't mess with a married man, you mistress whore, number one. Number two, right. if you have a husband, the only job as a wife, in my opinion, is to make it easy for your husband to be a good husband. And Second not giving thing. on sex is not being a good wife. So you're in the wrong. And as a man, you've committed for better or for worse, and you cheated. So all three are wrong equally. Well, no, nope, you got to pick one. If you got to say, the this person gets all, kicked off all, the boat. Who gets kicked off the boat? That hoe get kicked off the boat. I'm keeping my Mistress, husband. <laughs> the nigga. The nigga got it. He, no, but he, he hit my G-spot. So 
Joe cannot enjoy toy. He no, you can't sit underneath God and all that and lie to God and say you're going to be good. In the great words of Khloe Kardashian, we don't it know wasn't who that his is. fault. I know you did not say the great words. I of definitely Khloe would never quote that bitch and say great. <laughs> oh, shit. Jessica, who's the most wrong in that situation? The man, definitely the man, because I mean he was. Real, I mean even though she didn't, she wasn't fucking him. He could have. I mean he should have masturbated. He should have. Listen, fuck that. Just, give this man a mic. Somebody just come up here. I know, right? Where's Trav when we need him? Fuck that. He could have, he should have jacked off. Oh, don't worry. They we... got some good flicks on porno, if you know what I'm saying. So you think the wife was the most wrong? No. no the husband. I don't know if this is the right environment for you, sir. <laughs> Husband. You sitting Stephanie. in the middle too? We gonna jump you and your girl gonna help us. Stephanie, who's the, <laughs> Stephanie, who's the most wrong? I feel like the mistress. Because, you know, a married couple has their problems, and they have to work with that under God. You know what I mean? The mistress is just coming in and fucking shit up. Like, but she don't have no God. Because if it wasn't her, her though, if it wasn't her, it was, her, it was gonna be another bitch. But it, it, oh, well, all of them, all of them, all of them. All the you mistresses just die. All of y'all hoes. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Bye. Because a marriage is a marriage is a marriage is a marriage. And he's married, not her. So he needs to respect his <laughs> own relationship right. before you. But How you going to tell somebody that, to respect your relationship and you don't? You know, under, under marriage, under God, you know, a divorce doesn't even exist under God. You know what I'm saying? So... Forever, they're married forever. The rest of their lives, they have to deal with each other. That's Maybe it. not. They might get a divorce. The divorce rate higher than the stay the in together rate. The mistress is gonna come and go. Like you said, it could be one girl or another one and another one. They're gonna come and go like a you know revolving door. A marriage is something you gotta work on. It's something you gotta, you know, you you can't just you can't just throw them off the boat. He might so get a pregnant. L'Oreal, so why do we want to beat? So why do we want to beat her ass and not his ass when that happens? Who we want to beat their ass? The, the mistress. Where right? they at? Why is it that we always want to beat her ass if it's his fault? Oh, because it's your nigga. So at no, the end I of the mean, day, you're going to want to beat her no, ass. No, and she knew. The way you explained it is that she knew the about the whole situation. Knew. Yeah. But you want to beat his ass too, but you can't beat him. So you pick the, the weaker person. Why you can't beat the both of them? I can't beat. I mean, I, I try know. to fight a man, but I ain't never win pick for real. Pick up a pistol. I'm not going to lie. Like, you pick up amen. a gun. You pick up a chair. My niggas don't look knife. like Bow Wow. They like, you know, they... And Bow Wow, I could take that nigga on too. But if it was like my man, like, nah, yeah, I'm getting I, beat I the mean, fuck up. No, I love my I love my man too much to even want to hurt him. I don't even want to fuck him up. I'm the type of bitch, if you come snitching on my man, telling me you fucking with my man, I'm gonna beat your ass. What? And I'm gonna make him a sandwich. Like, get the fuck out of here. Not we me. gonna work this out. Like, but then he's gonna you do a hoe. Like, Why would you do that? Fight. You try to play me. She Why tripping. Would you like, do get that? the fuck out of here. <laughs> There's two, gla- two guys that just clap the Maybe not. With. That's nobody's business. <laughs> so you said if your if your nigga fuck somebody else, you gonna fix him a sandwich. You gonna go fuck somebody nah, else. I mean, eventually I am gonna fix him a sandwich. That's my nigga. I'ma stay with him. That shit gonna have I rat poison nowhere. in the middle of that motherfucker. I or some voodoo nowhere. shit. What y'all call it? The blood period, blood and the oh, spaghetti oh and all God. that. It's gonna be something. I'm gonna violate. We are definitely from the same place. You gotta violate him. You gonna make him a sandwich. All right, well, listen, we got to keep the show moving, but Vonda, Carla, Jessica, Jessica, make sure you plug your book as well. Okay, sure. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't have anything to do with sucking dick or anything. Okay, books and the the book is When the Miracle miracle Drops. drops, It's, um, I mean, I I, I took to my own home, but I'm I'm a multi-millionaire that's just teaching you guys how to get to the millions. Yeah. Yeah. E-commerce. So the book is twenty four ninety nine. You can buy it online at www.ilovecolors.com and love is spelled L U V. Can Miracle Jobs make no. his dick grow? <laughs> uh, just it's just for That's hair. a miracle. Question. No, it can it can bring his hairline back or his mustache oh, okay. or fill in his. I know some of y'all need that. that. No, make his go hairline come and give him confidence, and he'll fuck you better if he's confident. Well, no, because you said for a year you didn't get fucked right. Oh. Nah, who? With a little dick, right? Ain't that what you said? Nah, I, come on. I'm not trying to blast none of my exes. She didn't even <laughs> put a timeline on it. Damn. <laughs> like, chill. I didn't right. say that. I just right. said I would. I'm I'm, sorry. Come on. I was giving a scenario, sorry. baby. Sorry. Chill. Sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to put somebody on blast like that. Uh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Well, we thank y'all so much for coming because we do have another guest. 
So again, Vonda Carlo, and you know, you can see her at Caroline's all the time. She's a stand-up comic. You have a book out as well. That's yeah, been you out. can go to um, speakfluentman.com or coachvon.com. I started a new Patreon, Coach Vaughn's Corner. Um, was on the NBA channel on Sirius XM. I was the first woman to have her own show on yeah. a channel. Uh, um, it's been expanded to a digital media show, so go to coachvon.com, see how to join, and there is options where you can get my book for free and free comedy passes to my monthly show that's starting in May. All right, well, thank and you, And follow ladies. me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks, Angie. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Make sure y'all support our beautiful black women. You know we gotta support each other. Yeah, Women's History Month, Black Excellence, you know, multi-million dollars. That's what now, where is Trav? I know Trav speak. is somewhere in the audience. Trav, where are you at? Right. If Where's you got to know, Trav, come over here, because while we are waiting for Melly to come to the stage, I hope you all are all familiar with Melly. She has a new project called Phases This Out Right Now. Okay. Where's Melly at, too? Oh, okay, I see. Hey, Melly. She's going to come up here to the stage and join us. Trav, I need you to get in position, because... All right, Trav, after Melly, we're gonna do audience questions, so I wanna make sure you're in position and ready. I didn't know you were here. Do you hey, guys Trav. know Trav? Trav! Hey, Trav! Yes, Trav calls, he calls in all the time. Yes, Melly, you can sit right here. Steph, move down. Trav always comes in through the back door, but today he came in through the front. Back door Trav. All right, so let's introduce Melly. She's from Harlem. Hello, everybody. We didn't even ask where everybody was from tonight. Who's from Brooklyn? <laughs> all right, that's all that matters. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, Uptown's in the building. Queens. All right, all right. Where, what am I missing? Jersey. Joyzy. 914. All right. Westchester. Hey! Oh my God. We had to know Philly was in here. Philly was good. <laughs> <laughs> so Melly's been traveling a lot, so we appreciate you for coming because I know you have a lot going on, a lot of shows, a lot of hitting the road. You have a project out. Congratulations. We were listening to it as we was getting ready. Yes, we were. So it was incredible. And I seen Thank her you. perform last night, and she killed it, y'all. So if y'all can, if y'all can see you. one of her shows, make sure y'all get to it. She's not performing tonight, so calm down. <laughs> but when y'all can, Thank get to you. one. I appreciate it. <laughs> but tonight we're going to find out more about Melly. Now, first we're going to do some lip service back chat, and we're going to talk about some things that have been happening in the news, and I want to get your opinion on it, okay? Uh -huh. So we're looking at this uh, Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Chantel, who is his ex-girlfriend. He says that she stole three, no, she says he stole $3 million worth of jewelry. Now, the thing is, they broke up, and he took that stuff back. Is that man? stealing? That's, that's being a repo man. Okay. Because they did break up. He so, came $3 million is a lot of jewelry. Do you let somebody walk with that? They were gifts. Yeah. Yeah, I just let him. Who run. takes back it's just gifts? Petty for him, you know. It, it's petty for him. Like he's, not he has so much money. Back. So Melly, if somebody gives you a gift and you're in a relationship, right? They buy you some jewelry, you break up, and he asks for the stuff back. What do you say? No, no give it back. Give yeah, it back. I'm giving it back too. Like, yeah, me too. I agree with that. I'm not giving shit back. I got back. too much pride. Fuck pride. It was a gift. Can I get my coochie back? No. Can I get all them good dick sucks back? No. So it's I'm keeping better. all these nah, gifts. I'm not gonna Thank hold you. you. It's always better to just give it back. You don't want nobody talking about, yeah, I gave her that look. She got that on, that was me. Give it right. back. Get that shit by yourself. See, I think with that, I can agree. If he gonna be that petty where he going around like, oh, she won't give me my stuff back. You a whole bird ass yeah. nigga. Take your shit. You know what you do? You back. bleach it up, burn it up, and then you throw the ashes at that nigga. Like, this is it. This'll be you. Listen, this'll be you next if you don't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> but you're not gonna burn jewelry, right? I mean, figure it out, because if he's that press or pawn it and be like, yo, I bought something else. I don't even have that shit no more, bro. Yeah. You I know bought. what I think? I think a lot of times when guys ask for stuff back, that's their way of still trying to have like a connection and stay right. in contact they with you. They want a way to still be able to communicate with you and come back and have one more conversation. Y'all know what that means. 
I told you before, I had a guy oh, that asked me for his oh, stuff back, and I threw it all out the window. I was like, here, come yeah, get that's it. that's what I would do. I'd throw it out like, Take your shit. Yep. And I threw his PlayStation out the window, too. Let me tell you something. I know somebody that gave their baby mom's bracelet to the next bitch. Don't give that nigga back shit. Oh, guys do and, that. And listen, that bitch is still wearing that shit. I be looking at it in pictures like, this is sad, girl. Please, I know a certain Wait, person. Wait, L'Oreal, that sounded personal. <laughs> listen, it's a secondhand bracelet. You got to chill, sis. I, I wouldn't be walking around like, yeah, you already know. I've seen that bracelet. No, that in. happens a lot. There's this one person, I'm not going to say who it is, but he... He has like a set Rolex and a set of bags, Birkin bags, and he every time he has a girlfriend, you don't have they to say who it is, we know. <laughs> and then they break up, and the girl don't got nothing, but his next girlfriend got the same bag. Well, Melly, have you ever backslid into a relationship? Like, if you break up with somebody, is there a chance that they can get back together with you? Or are you the type of person that's like onward? No, I never got back with anybody. Never? Once it's done, it's done. Mm -hmm. She giving shit back, and she moving on. Okay, <laughs> ain't no coming back. Yeah. But I'm sure there's guys that are hitting you up now. I mean, you got a lot going on that used to talk to you that's like, yo, I'm saying, you know, I know I messed up, but we was younger, and now I see what's going on, and I know I messed up, and I learned, you know how guys, I'm a work in progress. <laughs> that's guy's famous line, you know, I'm a work in progress. Yeah. I learned a lot. You Just nothing work from you. Work with me now, no. work with me. I'm cool. Once it's done, it's done. It's, it's just a respect thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever messed up in a relationship? Yeah. And so, even if you mess up, have you ever begged somebody to take you back? No. Beg? No. If I mess up, I'd be like, so what are we going to do? <laughs> and then, what's, what's your decision? I, right, I'm out. That's it. You can't say beg. That sounds a little crazy. Like, beg somebody to take you back? Yeah. What you did know, you do? You know guys be doing the fake tears thing? <laughs> now, yeah, I've seen real tears before, but what did you do, though? You think they was real. <laughs> Nah, men don't just be crying like that. Yes, they do. Nah, they no, no, crazy. no. I'm saying I've seen men cry, but I don't think it'd be fake. It'd be fake, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, when they about that to lose you, that'd be their last resort. That's the last trick out the pocket. Mm. They smell like a goddamn yeah. onion. Nah, it they works every time too. Girls. <laughs> nah, they really be up. sad. They really be sad because you know she they know you it. leaving for real that time. <laughs> Yeah, but, and then you feel bad for them, and you be like, okay. No, 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 I don't. After I okay. see them I cry. When, I, I'm not going to lie. When guys cry, it's like. You it, lose respect. Yeah. You be like, oh, yeah. so you messed I up, and now you want to cry? Hurry up. It's so hard. I, I lose respect up. for them. I eat you up. bitch ass nigga, you crying and shit? <laughs> you crying, you little bitch man up. up. <laughs> you wasn't crying when you was fucking that bitch. Fuck. Y'all so mean. <laughs> or maybe <Yeah>. you were. <laughs> or maybe he was. <laughs> Have you ever had a guy cry while he was having sex with you? Oh my God, Ange. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wow, wow, wow. Well, wow guys wow. cry, but not wow. Well, you made a guy cry before? Not a guy, but yeah. Okay. She said multiple. Yeah, multiple guys. And they all that cry. Is, yeah, yeah. You talk shit to them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's they, the worst thing you could say to a guy to hurt his feelings? I don't even think that works anymore though. Cause we that's the go-to. So it's yeah, the go-to. So much. Yeah, I you know what? Your homeboy. <laughs> See, the problem with both of those things is it makes you look bad. So you was fucking me all this time with my small dick, and now mm -hmm. you want to complain? Yeah. Or, right? <laughs> you know what you should say instead of your dick is small? Your dick was very easy to suck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it never hurt my jaw. Never made my shit pop. <laughs> now that'll hurt some feelings. <laughs> Have you ever uh, met a guy and his dick was too big? <laughs> yes. Melly had a flashback. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No? No. Not once? No. You sure? I could tell by the way you're moving in the seat. Yeah, it looked like it hurt. <laughs> like, you remember, like, oh, shit, yeah. No, I'm yes. actually, yo, can I get, like, some of this? <laughs> you need a drink? Yeah. We need a drink for Melly. What, what you yes. need, girl? Y'all got Henny? Yes, let's get some Henny seat. Let's we get need some, some Henny to the stage. Yeah, yeah. Just straight Henny? <laughs> yeah, this is Henny. Oh, yeah, okay. Henny we, we see where this is going. <laughs> now, how much do you talk about your previous relationships when you get in a new one? Do you ever talk about like your exes and talk about what went wrong? No, I just be like, listen, like this is how we moving, and if you do this, just know I'm gonna move like this. <laughs> yeah, Damn. take it or leave it. Yeah, that's all I got for you, baby. Basically.
What about you, Steph? You ever talk about your exes? Um, when I was younger, not now, not at this age, but it's just a nightmare. It's the worst thing you could ever do. When you're with somebody else and you're talking about your ex, it's because you're thinking about your ex. You're comparing it. It's like, no, this isn't the one for you. You're still on that one. Move on. Get a life. No, not really. I feel like it. Figure it out. No, sis. Like, <laughs> I think so. That's no, what sis, I, I mean, that's my opinion, sis. No, I don't think you could be, like, stuck on the person. I think that you could just be, like, Nah, I don't think you should be talking about your exes, but I mean to each his or her own. That's mm -hmm. you know, that's just how I but feel. But what if they it. ask you? What if they're yeah, like, so you what have happened? to talk about if past? If they ask you, it's like, damn, grow up. Why do you want to know about my past, bro? So like, they know no, what their future no, yeah. is gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna know. You're supposed to yeah. kind of know certain things, and then no, you know how I mean, to handle a person. If, 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 okay, if you're in, in certain circles and you're gonna bump into exes and things like that, you know, there's certain things that you should always, you know, you shouldn't put your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend in a fucked up situation. Right. You know what I mean? But I don't think you should just give them the roster. I don't think you should just spill the beans. It, you don't have just, to say who it, it is, it but sometimes, sometimes it helps people know more about you. Yeah. Like, you know, in my I last relationship. Yeah. yeah, I think speaking about situations and not specifically the relationship that the situation happened in is healthy. Like, it's good to communicate okay. about things that you've been through, things that you've experienced, right. what you like and what you don't like. Then yeah. that's a good dialogue so that y'all can be able to move on in the right way. It don't necessarily have to be, well, when I was with Tyrone, you know? Yeah. But you can still, you know, talk about the situation in that way. It's a line of communication and everybody's straight. Right. I think that even, like, if you fill in out an application, right, they say previous employers. So if I'm going to employ this nigga as my boyfriend, I want to know what jobs he had before this. Because I got to see, was he working at Toys R Us? Or was he working for a hedge fund? No, but, and did he right own there, the business? Or did he have a trash box? Like, you got to... But even that, L'Oreal, that might fuck up something that could have been great right from the beginning. It might so not be that too great. too much of the business. It might not be that great. And you I can't, you can't really judge, because look, in order to own a Chick-fil-A, you got to work there for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to know how long the relationships went on. Not like I need to know details of everybody, but at least the important, the important one. I don't want to know nothing about my man's past, because everything I know turns me off. So you don't Google That means that you don't need to be with him. Yeah. So you don't, you don't like, Google him? Uh, you're gross. So wait, you don't Google him or nothing or stalk him? I think really highly of myself, so anything. It could be the, he could have been with Princess Diana, and I'll be like, ew, you was with her? You know what I'm saying? Like, He'd be old as it's hell. It's my man, you know? Like, I, I don't want I don't want to think about him with nobody. I'm I mean, best. hopefully I'm we don't best. know all the bitches that he fucked with. Like, it don't right. have to be like, just explain to me the situation. I ain't got to know KD and this bitch and that bitch. Just tell me what the fuck happened. Get to the point. Why y'all niggas broke up? I think I think it's important to hear how a, you guy, cheated. how a guy talks about his exes, too. Like, is he still respectful? Because I think I have a problem when a guy tries to trash his ex. Like, he could yeah. be like, you know what? Things didn't work out, and it was what it was. I messed up. She did some things wrong. I learned a lot from it. I like to, I like guys that are very respectful when they talk about women in general, even right. if she met. Thank oh, you. she got her Hennessy. Yeah. And one of the names that he Thank tell you. you might be Tyrone. So you got to be careful oh that it wasn't God. a man. What? Ladies, y'all know to be careful nowadays, right? It's These like niggas out here fucking about that. It's These niggas is out here fucking that. niggas. It's 2019. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> All, All right. right. Now, let's get back to Melly. <laughs> Melly, have you ever been considered a psycho, like in a relationship? You know how guys yes. be like, she's crazy? I had a feeling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what's yeah. some of your Listen, psycho All curly head girls are crazy. No. All yeah, right? No. <laughs> oh, all <laughs> curly head girls is crazy. No. So what's, uh, what's some, some things that you do that make you psycho? Because you know guys love to call us crazy for the littlest things. Yeah. I think, I think men, when you know who you are and what you want, they automatically think you're crazy. Yeah, when you be um, knowing, that's it. They think you're crazy. Yeah. I think I think the most out of line stuff I've done, which is like normal, <laughs> is no, it's really normal. Like I just key the car. That's about it. That's about it. No, that's about it. That's the most I've ever done. And then I kinda like reflected and I was like, you key someone's car. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the worst thing you could do to the car because if you you could get a new tire, you could get a new windshield. Uh -huh. But the key to shit, you gotta. No, that's it's dumb. There, like, Did you write bitch? Oh, <laughs> wow. You gotta put cheater or bitch. She was a conductor. Nah, she was nah, he belly did me rocking dirty. on he that. He did bitch. me dirty, so I keyed it and then I was like, and pay my cab. Damn. 
Hey, so hey, yeah, you ain't even trying to hide hand. the fact that it was you. Because you know sometimes people key a car and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. No. No, I did that shit. So what, Whatever they was say he still she trying to be with you that after shit. that? No, 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 no. We was done. So it was like, there's my mark. Damn. What if he keyed your car? I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keyed his car. Yeah. <laughs> what if he cut up your Metro card? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a monthly. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What if he use all your sky miles and was like, fuck that, I'm taking all her shit. You gonna be pissed. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I, I had an ex who like stood with my shit. He did what? Like stood with my shit. Really? Yeah, and I was just like, wow. Like he stood with my like items. Like he kept it. Yeah, he kept my items. She got her Harlem slang. We gonna say it louder for the bitches in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with my items. What kind of things did he keep? Chains and stuff like that. Damn. You and it was your shit, not shit that he bought. Not my shit. Oh. That was so that you can come back and get it. And so y'all can have that one last conversation that leads to this and that, <laughs> you know? Nah, I'm Dang good. Well. Like, if it's there, stay with it. I'll be out. Chalk it up as a loss. no business. So you never got it back? No, 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 no. I got good. better stuff. Yeah, I'll be good. And she got good. new shit. You okay. gotta just leave people like that. Just be out. Yeah. <laughs> just Yeah, just live your life. Be like, that made you happy. Whatever, man. I see you. All right, now we have um, a listener who actually asked us an advice question, so we're gonna ask you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so over the weekend, she met a guy at a bar. She said, we came back to my place. We hooked up, which I consented to, but I feel like there's things that happened that I did not. He had a condom, and so did I, but then she said she noticed that it was off. What? He huh? slid the condom off. Nah, I can't Wait, do that. Wait, she had a condom and he had a condom. They both had condoms. He put the condom on. That don't on work. How y'all both got condoms Well, on? he didn't use hers. He put the condom on. She's saying they were having protected sex. Girl, but then she who, looked. they in here? No. <laughs> I don't know. Girl, you knew. Who is that? You Who's knew. Because you, you can feel when that condom's not there, right? Yeah, you yeah. definitely could feel that. It definitely so feel if that. a guy wasn't that off, good, sis. Yeah, you could feel that risk going in. Maybe she was drunk. Yeah, uh huh. She yeah. might have been fucked up. Girl, even when you're drunk, you feel that. Get out of here. That's so now, what would you do? Is that somebody that you would say, I'm never talking to him again? Yeah, he trying to trap you. Y'all already fuck raw. You might as well stick with him. That's your boyfriend now, sis. No. <laughs> Y'all go together. <laughs> Technically, it never happened. It never happened. Unless you had something permanent as a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> like herpes or AIDS. But it only never happened if he had the condom on. Mm. It definitely happened if the condom's off. I mean, if it wasn't something that you want to remember or want it to happen, it didn't happen, sis. Just keep it moving. Don't keep that in your consciousness. What if you right. tell him to pull out and he doesn't? What? What if you tell him to pull out? What if you're dating a guy and you tell him to pull out and he doesn't? Um, go get your plan B and never talk to him again. Because he trying to trap you. <laughs> All right, now, let me ask you this question. Is it possible to get a man to give you money without ever having sex with him? Yes. 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 Super yes. yes. I think yes. Yes. very yes. Yes. Very, very yes. And the answer is yes. yes. <laughs> I Where's just want to say yes. Where's all the sugar daddies in here tonight? Uh, Y'all some lying ass niggas. Uh, he raised his hand over there, right there with the bald head. He we we want y'all to make some noise. Don't put your damn hand up. It's dark. <laughs> we see you. Where you at? I think it's actually easy. I feel like a lot of people like don't listen to females that be like, you gotta, you gotta wait. I, you gotta fuck a nigga to, you know, get money. Like, at the end of the day, you don't gotta spread your legs for anything. If somebody wanna do something, they'll do it out of the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you this, and let's be honest. There's a few guys in the room. Have you ever given a girl money or bought her gifts without having sex with her? And keep it real. Yes, they lie. Yes, I see, no, I see people nodding heads. Raise your hand. Heads. <laughs> no. Okay, he Look, did it. He like, no. Look, but <laughs> my homegirl right here then pointed her man out. She like this nigga right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, but it's courting. Man. It's called courting. Like, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, if you buy a girl a thirty thousand dollar watch and you never hit, like, then you you fucking you're a trick. But 
That's you could buy like you could mean, buy like a, a purse or a shoe or a flowers. Shoe. I don't I don't I don't agree with that. I feel like a <laughs> lot. <laughs> no 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 no, no no no. Before you hit, it's no, okay. I feel like if if somebody is gonna give you something, there should be no reason why they expect something back. Right. Okay. Exactly. And if that person's like that, be out. Exactly. Just be out on them. Be out. Some guys think the they gift. buy you a drink and you owe them shit. Yeah. Take the gift with you yeah. when you go, okay? Remember, it was a gift. <laughs> we like gifts. Or leave that shit. Y'all don't need no gifts. Get that shit by yourself. Okay. I'll done. still take the gift, but I get it by myself, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't turn down no gifts, girl. You know what I'm talking about? Unless you, it's like a dick would in you a take, box. Would you take a gift from somebody that you don't like? That I don't like? Yeah, like, let's say a guy's trying to talk to you. You know you don't like him. You know no. you don't want to fuck with him. No. And he gets you a gift. Would you accept it? No. That's she taking advantage of somebody. Don't take advantage it of nobody. It is a gift. She she don't be heart. rude. Don't, but then heart. it's like, no. <laughs> you got to accept the gift. Now, if he keep buying them, then that's Because if different. it's somebody that likes you, you accept a gift from them. They're going to keep doing stuff like that. Y'all can't be think, friends? No, but that's Why? not, guys don't work like that. They don't think, yo, I just gave her a gift, she accepted it. Now, oh, what you doing? Oh, you wanna hang out? Oh, I got, I got this I'm for busy. you, like that continues, you feel me? Nah, yo, I, y'all you, gotta stop with this. No, you gotta gifts tell them this. You gotta tell them like, yeah, um, you can see me. I got a show tomorrow night you at don't such gotta, and such. Yeah, I mean, Here's yeah, the event like that, yeah. link, and you can buy the tickets. Yeah, that's you that's cool saying? with me, but and send mm-hmm. the, and bring a gift when you come. <laughs> I agree with Melly though, because you know I'm not into getting gifts from people that I don't like, because I just feel like it's rude and it kind of yeah, gives them like a false You're hope. Taking advantage of them. Right. I was trying to convince Angela to. What? To do what? Oh well, it was somebody that was buying her gifts, right? And she ain't like them. It was a while ago. And so I didn't, and I didn't she, want them. She was like saying, "No, no." I'm like, "Girl, yes, yes. We wear the same size. I'll take them if you don't want to. <laughs> I'll take the gifts. Just like re-gift. I should have just hooked y'all up. No, no, no. I didn't know. <laughs> I said, you take the gifts and give them to me. I wasn't trying to do no work. Yeah, listen. <laughs> All right, now let me ask y'all this. If your man said that your outfit is too revealing, would you change your clothes? Yes. yes. I think I would. Yes. Yes. No. Why would he say that if it's not? Yes. I think as your man, he already knows how you dress. So if a guy is now trying to change you while you're in a relationship, like I said, just be out. You're not my father. But what if you're overdoing it that day? Because you know how some days you like, these shorts are a little short, but I'm going to still go no, outside. But, that, but then that comes from self-respect. <laughs> you shouldn't. It's a, it's a limit. Like, if you're wearing a short, if you're wearing a, a top, have some long pants on. If you got shorts, have your long top But what on. if you hot and you want to have on short shorts? You get what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. you like, I got a big butt, But there's a, there's a balance. You know what to wear. <laughs> Even if you have a big butt, there's certain pants that still look flattering on you and still give you air. Yeah, no, 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 I understand that, but I just feel like my man should be able to talk to me about anything. If he be like, yo, today I think that's that's a bit much. I'm going to respect him because that's my man. He's not going to try to play me or nothing. Like, if it's somebody that I'm calling my man, Uh he's not going to try to, like, do nothing like that. So I would be like, damn, maybe my titties is, my titties big, so, But then that comes, like I said, that's how you dress. Right, 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 right. Like, I'm not going against it. It's just more so, like, when you're in a relationship, the person already knows what you're bringing to the table Mm -hmm. as to why you guys in the commitment feel me no, so no, it's just understand. like all right this person is like this she dresses like this don't try to change me while you already met me a certain way what right. if you don't like what he has on what i mean tell like him me. still i mean <laughs> i mean i could obviously i could communicate with each other but it's just it's just a difference if he's telling you what to wear yeah, because um, we were talking about this earlier. Could you date a guy who just really couldn't dress at all? Like well, you, we wouldn't be dating you hate to the begin way. with. You feel me? Like, Angela not, doesn't I'm care not, about that kind of stuff. It's not that I don't care, but you I can, definitely have dated guys and I didn't really like the way that they dress. It's a turn off. I'm from Harlem. I mean, but you can like, help them. They dress nice over there. You can help them me? be better. You can give them advice on what to wear and how to change and, you know. Nah, I'm what good. if he was like, can I wear one of your dresses, like Young Thug? Come on. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's fashion. <laughs> he got to know how to dress. A man got to know how to dress. That's, like, very important to me. Yeah. Like, you know, when, even when you was younger, the first thing you would look at is a man's shoes. Like, okay. you would just look straight down. So I think with I look me... At, I look at... I don't look at shoes first. When I was younger, that was the first As thing the I first went to. Thing. Now I'm like, I'm trying to look at anything. I don't... I look at if they got any plaque 
Why? Because guys be hiding that shit. Like, let me see. Open your mouth. They ain't never been to the dentist. Yeah, you gotta look that at teeth. You gotta look at fingernails. Yeah, fingernails Nails is important. Mm -hmm. And I their ears. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. dirty ears. Yeah. Yuck. And, ears. and up they nose, like. <laughs> Like, I, I'm he sorry. He might just like, have a if, booger. Come on. No, no. Like, if, if, if we're having, like, you know, intercourse and you have a booger, like, get off. Oh, that's nasty. Oh like, I'm not about to look at you. But, like, Melly, like, if, you love, me off. if you love him, you'll pick it out for him. Now, oh. about, we're in the, no. Like, you're not about to, wait, hold up. Yes, you are. No, you are. Ladies, not. how many of y'all no. picked a booger out your man's nose? <laughs> not during sex. That's nasty. Oh, no, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, sex, I got like, turned off wait, You got a booger, wait. Okay, there, it's gone. Turned off easily. <laughs> You're crazy? Room. Well, you love somebody. You, you gotta use your pinky nail to get it and then pluck it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, baby, and keep okay. on fucking. It's Don't okay. stop. It's okay. And then so you're gonna put his finger in your pussy. Now you got booger pussy. Like, uh, oh <laughs> you picked it with oh your God. pinky nail. Come on, Lori. <laughs> Come on. So boogers make your pussy dry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just bad hygiene, like don't be. Okay. Mm. What are some other things that make your pussy dry before you get out of here so people Stank know what? breath. Okay. That's hygiene still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just hygiene. And yeah. just corny people. Mm -hmm. Air like, mattress. <laughs> <laughs> what if you come to his crib and there's an air mattress on the ground just laid up for you? He like, come on, baby, come in the room. We're going to the living room. <laughs> We're not going over there. We what chillin'. about a baller belly? Does a baller belly bother you? A what? A baller belly. He got a little belly. The beer belly? Uh-huh. Nah, I think that's cute sometimes. Like when guys oh, have little shit. bellies and stuff. That mean they eating good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your status now, Melly, for all the, the guys that are going to see this? What's your status? I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> working. Is it easier okay. to be single or in a relationship for you? Just in life and work, like... Is it easier for you to have somebody or is it easier for you to not have to worry about that? Uh, I don't care, it's the same. Like, when I go into something, I go in as myself, so. You seem like you would be beefing with a guy a lot. Beefing, you, what yeah, you mean? like y'all would argue. Are you nah, argumentative? Nah, I think, what? Are you argumentative in a relationship? Nah, I'll do it for fun, if anything. <laughs> like, just to get at you, but I don't Melly really crazy. like arguing. <laughs> nah, I'll do it for fun, like, ha ha you got tight, but it's just like. I don't know. I, I don't like arguing. That shit gets boring. <laughs> you seem like you get bored of guys, too. You get bored Yeah, quick. I get bored. I get bored. I like spontaneous shit. Like, what are we doing today? What's the best date you ever had? The best date? Hmm. What is it that day? Damn, crickety crickets. <laughs> Gemini crickets. The best date. <laughs> What's the best, we'll let, we'll let the other ladies answer while you yeah, think about well, it. Yeah, well, I think, honestly. What's the best date you ever had, L'Oreal? This right here? Yeah, right now, tonight, here with y'all. <laughs> you know, my, my favorite people right here in the room. This is the best date I ever had tonight. Thank y'all for being here with us. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you that could be anywhere good. in the world, that but you're here quick. with us. We that appreciate that. That was quick, L'Oreal, that was nice. Thank you. Gigi, Gigi crazy. Oh, cool. That's your best date, L'Oreal? That's yeah, whack. Today. What about you, Gigi? What's your best date? You better answer right. Ooh. Oh, shit, she put her pimp hand down on you. Just in case there somebody's watching. There was actually watching. this time where we met in the Bahamas for one night. It I was know. pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. I mean, who goes out the country for one night? It was you. cool. You. Me and my baby. It was nice. So that's that probably our best date. Oh, okay, Melly remembers now. You sparked something in her. I don't even think it was like the place. I mean, it, it probably was because of the place. It was like very old school, um, an old school bar. Mm -hmm. But it was more so the person I was with. Not it's like all where about we the company at. and the chemistry, yeah, right? It's the that's company. Cute, the company. It was just drinking wine and just doing dumb shit. Vibing out. Yeah. Feeling all grown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was probably the best date. What about you, Stephanie? What was your best date ever? Uh, um, I don't know if I should tell the truth or if I should lie. <laughs> tell the truth. Why would you tell lie? <laughs> okay, so my best date um, was Valentine's Day in Paris like five years ago. Stunt. That was really nice. Okay. We I went to like a to nice stunt. exclusive restaurant and it was like everybody was dressed up and it was a really beautiful day. And then we went to the club and it was just a really beautiful night. And it was in Paris. 
Amazing. Yeah, yeah and I lied right now. Yeah. Why did you make a story up? No, that was my second favorite date. What that was the first my one? First. She's I, not going to tell us her first. I don't want to tell you guys. Oh, okay. he slid the condom off. I don't want to tell it. The condom <laughs> came off on the first. <laughs> Well, listen, best date. I want to thank Melly for joining us tonight. Thank you. This is our first time really getting to hang out, and we had a lot of fun. And congratulations on Phases. Mm -hmm. Make Phases. sure y'all all, make sure y'all all listen to Phases. First of all, I just love your voice anyway, even when you're just talking. Thank you. Uh, love thank you, Melly. You. Somebody oh. got you flowers. <laughs> no, oh, your mommy sent mommy. you flowers? No. My mom ain't sent me nothing. She never sent me nothing. So, Melly, exactly. on behalf of your mom, we just wanted to present you with this. She says congratulations on all your success. It is from your mom. Your mom. She can't you wait that. to see you. Aww. That was me. not from my mom. Me, 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 Melly. Because your growth is amazing. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh. She just knocked me with the oh, I'll be back. Oh. Yeah, get my yes. Yeah, oh, They're I'm very sorry. pretty, too. She pick my nose. She picking boogers. Oh. She picking boogers. Yeah. Booger pussy! <laughs> Wait, hold up. I, I done messed her up. She lied about... Oh, yeah, Angela. Oh, my best date? Oh. Yeah. Um, we went to the gun range. <laughs> See, you know what? <laughs> Just when y'all think Angela's innocent, okay? That was. She's that so was a fun date. We went to the gun range. I had never did that before. I was skeet shooting and then skeet shooting. You was skeet, 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 skeet. Oh, skeet, skeet, skeet motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you, Melly. Thank you. Thank you, Melly. I gotta look at my face. Thank you, Thank you. Bye, babe. Okay, fine. All right, so. Melly. Let's go now. All right, so next up we have, and he's gonna be at Caroline's all weekend. Ha Ha Davis is here. Oh, Ha Ha Davis. And by the way, he's a very busy man. He's got a lot going on, so we appreciate him coming through to spend a, a little bit of time with us. Yeah, sit right here. Come sit right here. He's okay. from Detroit. I know y'all seen him with Hov on the gram and all that. <laughs> I see the Don Julio in the building. I see y'all. Get There go your cup. Oh, here you go. You want a drink? <laughs> yeah, give me a little something. Okay, all right. Hold on. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. And by the way, Haha -Ha Davis is at Caroline's sold out show, so... You know, this is like an opportunity yeah. for you to see him right no, we're now. We're in the building. Yeah, can we get a round of applause? <laughs> oh, you y'all got the ladies in here tonight. Yeah. Shout out the ladies in the building tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. No, that's cool. Oh, this is white. Look, I'm about to get real freaky here. Freak man, freak man. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> you need some ice? No, look, I, I ain't gonna even sip it. I'm about to pretend to here tonight. I'm not gonna be <laughs> sipping it. Don't waste that liquor. No, come on, come on. Let's Pour it back in the bottle if you let's, let's toast to something. What are we toasting to? We're toasting to you, Ha Ha okay, Davis, cool. for we these sold out me. shows. This is so, your uh, first time at Caroline's, right? Performing? My first time. Yeah, so yeah. this is a big deal, and this is iconic. Yeah. This is our first time here, too, like, on the stage. So. Ooh, tingly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ha Ha, since you don't have a lot of time, let's get right into it. Let's get to it. What's your favorite thrust speed during sex? Like, how fast do you go? Thrust? Did you say thrust? What, are you a slow thruster, medium, thrust fast? Thrust speed. No, I like, I like it slow. I got to feel what I'm doing. Like, she like, didn't even ease you into this motherfucker. She, she, she didn't give you no lube. None. I thrusted him in. <laughs> <laughs> Made her tooth that ass up immediately. Thrust. Speed. It's different, but no, I like me. I, I like it. I like it slow. I like to feel what I'm doing. Okay. Like, like, you like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's grown man, though, ain't it? <laughs> like, all the, the young guys like it fast, though. You know what I'm saying? They be trying to. <laughs> you are young. I'm young, though, but I'm a little like I'm a I'm a mature young guy, though. Okay. You know. So when you were younger, you were a jackrabbit. Yeah, yeah. Like you, cause like when you're young, you you wanna you wanna make her feel like yeah, I beat that motherfucker up. Right. No. And then we'd be like, what the fuck was he yeah, doing? That's you know not what we want. <laughs> No. She like, that shit hurt. Listen, <laughs> if you kill the pussy, it will die, and then it's yeah, over, yeah, and then yeah. that's it. Real slow, real yeah. slow motion for me. You gotta so, all right, for the ladies, y'all like it slow? Because sometimes we do want a quickie. But you can't just go right in with, like, the bang, bang, bang. Like, you got to, like, work yeah. up to that. Even if it's only, like, five slow strokes, give me something, you give know? Give me something, give me something. Yeah. I don't like quickies. Like, not that I have to be having sex for hours, but, like, that two-minute... I don't, I don't like that, and not fast. Yeah, it's not enough. Like, I'm not pleased. 
So I, need, I love like, a quickie because I get up early in the morning. I need the slow grind. Angela, Angela got shit to do. Angela she ain't got time for quickie. no long session. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, I got to go to work. All so, right? so it's like the early is like you had sex before. Like, is it like real early in the morning? Nah, don't fuck with me because I'm trying to get my last few minutes of sleep in. <laughs> I would be so mad if I got it. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning for work. If you try to wake me up at 345... <laughs> It's, I'm mad at you all day, like, and then I'd be thinking about it, like, damn, if I would have had 15 minutes more, I wouldn't be tired right now. 340, 345, hit it from the side. <laughs> you know? Now we do have a lifeline here for you today, cause you're from okay. Detroit. Okay. So we do have another Detroit native here. Who in the building? Where's um, Ice? Where Vezo? Okay, Vezo in the building. I think he's coming to the stage. Come on with it. Where's okay. Vezo at? All right, here he comes. Y'all, come on, Ice. Y'all Detroit guys are different. Nah, he's What's up, Vezo? Icy ice. Come on with it. <laughs> it's okay, so cold look at you. Right. Freezing. Right now. Hey. What's up, my brother? How what up, doing? though? How you doing? So now I gotta ask both of y'all before we get into this. Yeah. Are you guys What's single or in relationships? I'm married. Oh yeah, you're married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm married now. Mm -hmm. You married, married, married. I mean, I'm, in, I, I, I'm married, married. <laughs> okay, there it is. I ain't, I ain't married, but I'm in a relationship. But me and my girl are like girls, so any of you all women can toot that ass up tonight. <laughs> she talking about where my ring at? My ring is in my heart, baby. Oh. No, um, no. See, now that's why I say, are you married? No, are you I'm married, married, married. No, I, married. I just wear that motherfucker nah. sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Well, if he was my husband, he would have a ring around his eye yeah, if he yeah. had that damn ring. I, I wear, you know I wear, you done fucked up. Fraudin'. I wear it when we together. You know what I'm saying? You out here fraudin'. You out here fraudin'. I take pictures of that motherfucker. Nah, I post one on fraudin'. Instagram. Fraudin'. That's all that matters. Fraud. Fraud. I post my lady on Instagram, though. Fraud. You know what I'm saying? I promote but my relationship. Your ring on. I promote my you relationship. You in the room for the ladies and you don't have your ring on. You sending out the wrong. You ain't never seen the Martin episode? No. Nah, you sending right. out the wrong. Y'all seen the Martin episode when he took his ring off at the gym? You sending out the wrong message. No, but look, though, a lot of niggas be high in their relationship. Like Does she the have her ring on married. right now? She always got her ring on. You ain't shit. She's supposed to have that motherfucker on. <laughs> <laughs> and so you. you ain't shit. You know what I mean? Hi, Davis. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Why can't you have it on? Hi, hi, Davis. What do you think about this? I mean, listen, for me, if, if I was married, I'd probably be in the same boat. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the one that? that's sinking. You better put the damn <laughs> ring on, okay? <laughs> I mean, I wear my ring. Like I said, me and my girl like girls, so she ain't tripping on what I'm on. See, you blessed, bro. I'm blessed, too, but you got it you gotta easy. Yeah. I don't gotta cheat. I don't cheat though. I be chilling. I be like, but, but, but why you wear it sometimes? They all like, say that. Like, what's the sometimes? Like the church and things so like I'm that. I'm feeling. You know what? I, I ain't used. I ain't used to wearing a ring. So if I put it on, I put it on. If I put that one. But you on, got all that other jewelry on. You all iced out, busted. Hey, ain't trying to get that heavy ass chain he got on. Talking about I don't be remembering the way. <laughs> Bust down Tatiana on the wrist, and you talking about you can't wear no ring. No, you know I be forgetting sometimes. Sometimes I put that. So where where is the ring right now? She it's got the, it. It's at the crib. You know? <laughs> it's somewhere special. It's in his heart, like it's he said. It's in my heart, and it's somewhere else special. My ring. What are your watch, your chain? All that need to be with that place somewhere bought, special. But look, too. though, I bought her. She got the same type of jewelry I got. I'm in love, though. I'm in, I'm in love, love. So He's in love. Always. She also got her ring on right now. She got that motherfucker. She better look, have that motherfucker. Somebody ain't talking about boy back. She ain't having it. <laughs> She, she, she supposed to have a ring on that all the time. Okay, hold on. We're trying to make these men feel comfortable while we hit. <laughs> so let me ask you this. If she wasn't wearing her ring, though, would that be a problem? No, I wouldn't trip. I okay. probably forgot. It. Lies. No, I'm, I'm tripping. My girl don't got her ring on. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> Oh, but, like, I'm comfortable, though. Me and my old lady, we got a good relationship. I'm comfortable. I don't be worried about yeah, that. Yeah, 100. Part. That's what I'm saying. All right, now, let me ask you guys this, and I'm going to ask the ladies, too. Is there anything that you've ever been embarrassed to say that you like in the bedroom? Have you ever been kind of embarrassed? Like, yo, um, you know, I always wanted to try this, but. Yeah, like, like, because, uh, like, a lot of guys don't like, like, I think they call it a gooch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what that thing called. Like, like oh, oh, don't fellas. think. He said, I believe they I call think, it. I think I heard one time they had <laughs> You said know what that, it um, is. <laughs> But look, fella, we gotta act like we don't I like the goose touch, though, cause we like the goose touch. Like, I think it ain't a gooch, it's just a gooch, man. We like the goose touch. Yeah, I love that shit. Look at all the fellas acting like they don't like the goose touch. Y'all acting different here tonight. <laughs> don't uh, be acting hey, different now. The, 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 only, the only thing I ever been embarrassed. He got about, his like, hands in the air, like no, no, no. <laughs> he like it the most. Come on, man. <laughs> so wait, Vesa, what, what are you embarrassed about? 
Uh, I've been embarrassed before. I, I, I bust fast before and I act like I didn't come yet. Okay. Every nigga do that though. You know what I mean? I kept going. I kept going till I, you know, no, he, as long he, as I can go. He asks, move. "What's the gooch?" That's the the the. That's the space between the asshole and the ball. Yeah, that's right there. Like, it ain't the ass, though. It's just a little gooch right there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas he don't like, that. like it. It's a Apparently, happy trail for men. Like wow. <laughs> Fellas in here, y'all. so y'all ain't with me tonight? Wow. Fellas, nice. you with him? Keep it 100. Okay, I see you way back there, my I dog. See I see you, my I see dog. You. I see you. I see you, homeboy. I see you. Yeah, man. So, so how do you ask for that? I mean, don't. I mean, you don't ask for it. You just grab her hand like, yeah, put your hand under the gooch. <laughs> put your hand under the gooch right quick. That's really close <laughs> to the ass, though. That's do you have to close. have just showered? Do you think about that? Do guys think about, like, I have to shower before I even... Got to shower. I got to shower, shower every time. Got to shower. Uh, every single time. Yeah. Before and after, every, always. Because my girl don't give me no dirty vagina, so I can't give her no dirty dick. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Praise them. Do you ever just do a wet wipe? I'd have been there. I'd have been there. I'd have been there. Yeah. Oh, wet wipes. Wet wipes work though. They work perfection. No, for sure. no, no. That is not the same as washing your ass. It Stop. ain't though. But, but, I, but you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you use the wet wipe or if you. Listen to me. If you want the gooch and all that licked on, you get your nasty ass in the shower. Soak that shit, nigga. Don't Soak bring that, that dirty shit. gooch. We boycotting gooch. You better lather that shit too. I don't just right. want you jumping in and out. I'm gonna Lather, ma- rinse, repeat. I'm going okay. to marinate this gooch. I'm going to marinate this gooch. <laughs> do, you sha- do you shave the gooch? Marinate the Well, she shaves. Like, my, my girl, like, she do all the shaving. Like, she don't like hair around my balls. Like, when she trying to give me oral sex, so she do all the shaving. Do you, like, lift your leg up so she get under it and everything? I mean, w- when you with your lady, you can do whatever you feel. Oh, did you ever, did she ever cut you or nip you a little bit? She has. She done did that a few times. <laughs> that shit hurt. I know that her. shit got to hurt. God damn. That's like, like silly and mister. Yeah. But <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's an old joke right there. Y'all gotta be old and watch Color Purple to know that joke. But <laughs> like, how high Davis has to go because he has a very busy night, but he is gonna be at Caroline's. No, I'm gonna finish my drink. I'm here. He wanna finish his drink? He said he got We all right over today. there, my people? We good? You all right? Okay, they said we all right. Said, you guys, like the, you guys know about this Gooch thing before this? Yeah. Look, he yes, got- you do. Hey, you know look, all about I don't it. fuck with that gooch. I don't know about the gooch. Well, see, he's from Detroit. He got his buffs on, so he tough tonight. Like, buffs make you act different. You know. Come on, gooch. He got his glasses on. And that on. means shades, yeah, for, yeah. for people that ain't been That means shades, though. So the shades is something, like, buffs is something big in Detroit. He got his shades on tonight. He acting different, like he don't like the gooch touch. You know, but. He was the one waving his hands in the air. Hey, I'm a, I'm a gooch man. I don't care what y'all are here. I'm a gooch man. Gooch man. And I'm proud of you yeah, to admit me. it, okay? <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. You know, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> but do you stop at the gooch? Yeah, no, and I stop at the gooch. Oh. Nah, I ain't, listen, I ain't oh, going that far. Oh. I mean, the gooch is cool. I mean, I ain't at that point in my life. Like, some guys like their ass touch. I ain't at that point so in my you, life. They can't eat your ass, your girlfriend, and no, her, your friends, and the other girl, and whatever y'all got Well, going you on. know what? We should ask. Vezo, you're married. They no, acting totally different. The gooch, the ass, I don't move. Like, <laughs> I'm cool on that. No ain't gooch. Ain't nothing wrong with, the, with the, whatever that shit called. I don't do the gooch. I don't, don't, do none, don't touch nothing down there. I ain't doing the ass I part, would be though. divorced. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be wearing your ring. Yeah, I don't move the gooch. I feel like the guys that say that, like, be the ones that want it the most. I don't fuck and, with like, the And, like, I'm gooch. telling you because I do that shit. So, like, I them, didn't... Hey, them, them some different type of niggas. When Listen, I, don't move I didn't like been that. around a nigga like, yeah, I, I put my finger in a nigga ass here and there. And oh. they be like, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm like, hey, you, 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 you fuck with some weird ass niggas then. You fuck with some weirdos, shorty. No, I, I don't. Lie. Trust me. But niggas say that and move like that, that's weird. When I didn't move say like they were throwing it back. But you might I said as well. That, you no, get some, if a nigga get his ass ate or get his, get his ass played with, he might a as well lot throw of that niggas. motherfucker back. You'd be surprised. Listen, all the guys here who act like they ain't want the goose touch tonight, they going home tonight lifting their legs up. Do you get what up. I'm saying? Thank so you. Look what Hyde Davis talking about. Touch the goose, baby. I got to see what he was talking about. Thank you. Watch. Why Thank you. I know. I know how it go. Trust me. Your man ain't going to tell you that he get finger up his butt. But he get a finger up his butt, and you probably do too. Now I say you. Where, where you, I'm where saying you the from? Man. I'm from right here, baby. New York City. Bright that. lights and everything. I know some real niggas in New York. I don't think they playing with their ass. I don't know. Y'all yeah, know about the now, ass. Who though. said they was all from New York? They might be from Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> While you playing. Look at all the Detroit homies. They ain't having it's it over so there. It's so cold in the D. <laughs> 
But all right, let's talk about some more things, perhaps, in the bedroom that's a little edgy. So, so you said you come fast and keep going and pretend you didn't no, come. No, 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 don't put that on me. You said that. No, 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 we ain't going to do that tonight. You didn't say that. No, I heard no, that. No, 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 I ain't say I come fast. I said I bust fast <laughs> before and, act, and kept going because I was embarrassed. Is that the same thing I just said? I said before. <laughs> he said once, so, he said once. Just so y'all know, lady, the ladies do know when that happens. How y'all know? How y'all know? Uh -huh. Because all of a sudden, you because it start throbbing and it shit. It get all wet, and then your dick get a little softer for a second. <laughs> we feel it. But well, not with a condom on, though. Yeah, I don't wear condoms no. condom doing that shit. Like, oh, I you was, feel it? Yes. Okay. It do a little, yeah. it have okay. a little slight seizure real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we can feel that shit. And right? you know what else y'all do? Y'all go fast real for a second. All right, let me, let me and ask y'all a question. <laughs> let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all notice if a nigga took a, a pill to keep his shit up or not? I don't know if I would know that, but maybe if we he We got those pills, Angela at the juice bar, Silverback. So if y'all want to get them, they're available for $10. <laughs> no, <laughs> and you'll last all do night. Do y'all notice if a nigga took them, like, you know what I saying? would think I could notice a difference. Like, especially if it's somebody you constantly fuck with. It's like, nigga, you don't fuck five times in a row. Where is this coming from? Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we going to If it won't go down. Oh, yeah, sometimes yeah, I should just stay hard, though. Stay right? hard, mad long. Yeah, yeah like sometimes well, after we come, we stay hard for exactly. another two rounds. It, well, so wait, you mean without the pill or yeah, with? No, without the pill. Oh, well, then you doing good, nigga. Yeah. That's why you fucking two bitches at once. I'm young. Not to call your girl a bitch, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm young, though. Like, like I, I, I'm not even, like, I ain't no ass man. I'm a coochie man. You got stamina. Yeah. Like, okay. I got stamina. I feel like younger guys do, and the older guys, I feel like it's like one and done, mostly. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know that that's true. The young guys too? She, she ain't having it. She say, look, look, I'm older. My, my old nigga ain't going. He, he be doing more than one of that? She said, you ain't been with the right one, okay? Don't count him out. Because I've had them 22 and couldn't stay. 55, three hours. 55? Oh, God damn. Three hours? Yeah, She's, I've never been past She's the got range. Baby, 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 baby. He had a blue pill, baby, okay? His pill was blue, all right? Now, have you have you ever have you ever not been wheelchair. have you ever not been able to come during sex and it yeah, just a bunch of times. Okay, I ain't never faked it. I just stopped. I just yeah, let like, up. I done been, got here all type of shit. And I just couldn't. Bother. I done been having sex with a woman and start thinking about another woman while I was having sex with her. Yeah, I'm guilty of that too. For yeah, sure. like yeah. guys That's like that for real. Though. Niggas do that all the time. I did that shit a lot. No, of she time. wasn't there. But that you wanted her to be there. I wish you was there at the time, but disrespectful. It ain't disrespectful. That's, you know what? That's not even disrespectful. That's ungrateful. That ain't. That don't be on a niggas though. You that's on a girl though. You're ungrateful for the pussy that, that you're in, nigga. thinking about Who's the next bitch is it? pussy. Some pussy ain't good. All pussy ain't good pussy. You're right. You know what I'm saying? All pussy ain't good pussy. But you can't be in a one person pussy thinking about the next bitch. Yes, you can. To that me, that's worse than no cheating. Shit. If you my man and you thinking about the next bitch pussy while you inside mine. So hold on, y'all never thought about another guy during exactly. sex? Exactly. Why? Then I'll go fuck him. Why am I fucking this nigga and thinking about another nigga? Dude? Because you can fantasize porn. about other things while you're having sex. I don't fantasize he during sex. Available. I think about having sex while I'm having sex. I don't know how people could fantasize about something else while you're having sex right then and there. L'Oreal says she focused. Yeah, exactly. Okay, she says she focused. <laughs> and I'm not fucking no whack dick. Like if it's whack. Like, hey, nigga, like, I, well, I ain't gonna speak on that. I'm about to say, hey, nigga ain't got good dick, but no, how do I, I know? No, listen, <laughs> every nigga don't have good dick, but if I'm going back to him, it's pretty damn good. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm going back. I'm talking about like a woman that you never had sex with before, and then you. Oh, hit, that's different. Then like, I can you think hit about. You hit the pussy, and it's not as good as you thought. Like, damn, I wish Shorty was well, over here. Well, I, I ain't never hit the pussy. <laughs> but if I was. That's to, a lie. No, I didn't hit the pussy. Oh, wait. Angela act like it was her, right? That's a lie, bitch. Yesterday, last night. <laughs> you was on lip service talking about no, it. No, I said I had a threesome way. Thank you. But I let, the, I let the girl do all the stuff to me because I didn't want to eat pussy. Like, it just, I mean, it feels good, but I don't want to be the fucking you re person You remember, doing it. do you guys remember the first time you ever ate pussy? Yeah, yeah. I remember. You, did you know what she was doing? Hell no. Nah. She had a I knew I, I knew I ain't know what I was doing. She started guiding me and shit. Oh, <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, like my first time was terrible. Like <laughs> that shit was the worst. Like I wanted to do like women do like, would you be mad like if the head terrible but the dick still good? Like, do it balance it out though? Nah, you gotta have a little bit of both at least. Oh, a little bit of both. You gotta yeah. teach the nigga. And we can teach you. We can okay. teach you. It's definitely something you can learn. Okay. But look, I know how it's gotta go. I wanna yeah, know about the first time Gigi ate pussy. 
Uh oh. Bitch. Talk to him. I plead the fifth. <laughs> You can't, Gigi, because you didn't even twerk for us yet. It's Thursday, okay? I'm only gay on the weekends. Leave me alone. <laughs> so talk about when you were gay on the weekends. No. <laughs> How was your first time eating? Gigi, Gigi. Talk to him. Gigi, 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 you can teach these gentlemen here some lessons, right? I mean, no, I'm a little better now, though. Okay, good. I don't know. Head you're game. still young. No, head game strong. <laughs> I got some, I got some like, head head on all me. All right, go like this and show us. Well, like how you want me to do? Just take, the, or take two straws, but show us. We want to see what you're about to do. Oh, my God. Yeah, use the lime. Too. Use the lime. Use the lime. So, so, there you go. There you go. Get this, it ready. This like this, so. This the ass right up under here. Okay. This the clip right here. I just I just go a little bit something like that. He might know what he's doing a little bit, y'all. I'm freaky, freaky. I get freaky, freaky for sure. <laughs> Did he put the Little's line clean? back? Ah, uh, no, no more line. I set the line right there because look, she's sleep. I didn't put her to sleep already. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. <laughs> y'all, we got Detroit in the building tonight. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. Where's Trav at? Vesso, you got a new single out right now with Big Sean. Yeah, I got a new single out right now called Balance, featuring Big Sean, produced by Dupree, available everywhere. It's Go get fire. There. Yeah. Hard. That, that motherfucker hard, bro. Look at my nigga. Motherfucker hard. Don't say that in this room. Oh, yeah, no homo. No homo, hey. no homo. We're in New York. No homo. No homo. You, you, you got to say it right, right. No homo. Hey, hey you doing you your thing here, my dog. 100, 100. <laughs> All right, now, now, Trav should be coming around with the mic because we want to make sure that everybody here gets to say what they have to say. And I want to thank you. Ha ha, Davis, you're here all weekend. I know it's so I'm here all weekend. I love y'all. Caroline, I'm out of here. Thank you. And Vezza, where can people follow you just so they know? Follow me on Instagram, everywhere. I swear, underscore Vezza. Follow me now. Yeah. Thank you. Trav got his turtleneck on, y'all. It's going down. <laughs> so we have a couple of minutes, so anybody has anything that they want to say? I'm going to go Okay. Okay, and, um, oh, and Gigi's getting ready for the twerk tutorial. Is anybody doing this? I, I need some ladies who's trying to twerk tonight. So listen. I'm sick of y'all twerking like y'all ain't know what y'all doing, so I'm gonna give y'all a little one two step. Come on up here if you're doing the twerk tutorial. No, ladies. what y'all doing, because I'm sick of y'all looking for I know some of y'all Philly ladies right? about to come up here. Okay, let's see, now we're doing this twerk tutorial. Oh, she got to change. All right, so Trav is gonna come around with the mic. If y'all wanna weigh in on any of the topics while we so get ready for this twerk tutorial, question? Question? Gigi's question? Question? gotta change her clothes. Cause them, she ain't twerking shit in them tight ass pants. Hey. She looking good, but it ain't twerking. All right, so where's Trav at? Trav? Oh, there he is, okay. Oh, I'm over here, I'm, I'm taking the mic over there. I see a hand up. I don't see shit. Hey, boo. Okay, What's okay. your name? My name is I wish we had a spotlight. Hi. We do. Okay, let me stand up. Hi, guys. My name is Ty. Hey. Hi. Hi. First, let me say hi, Gigi. Philly, stand up. Hey. Oh, Gigi went to change so she could do this twerk right. tutorial. But I've been in Best Eye, Brooklyn, for six years. So Best Eye. Brooklyn. And Stephanie, we bought the tickets hoping in that Stephanie came. But there's that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want, I have like a quick question slash something. I'm at that age, I just turned 30. All three of my best friends, with the help of me, have now all been engaged as of yesterday. Wow. Congratulations. Congrats. Go, That's girl. amazing. So I've been the girl to go with your boyfriend to pick out your ring, go, you know, set up your surprise engagement party, surprise you with the surprise engagement setup, all of that. My question to you guys is, how do I tell them to like relax and stop trying to hook me up with their boyfriend's friends? Oh. Even though he was cool for you, I know that's not what's good for me, so how do I politely like keep my single card and like stay in the now we marry group if 
that's possible. So you don't want to be around all your married friends all the time being hooked up? Yes. <laughs> But they're like my, really my only friend group outside of like my guy friends. Girl, you gotta just be real with them. Like, yep, these guys you hooking me up with is trash. No, I don't like them, they're whack, but no. But then I feel like they tell, I feel like that's me saying your dude is like No, not. that's just no. their friends. They're friends, they ain't okay. got to be the same And look, person. you should let them know, look, I'm very happy being single right now, but I do love y'all, so when we have our nights out, can it just be girls' nights out? It's just never nights out, it's always, I'm doing the marathon in Philly in a couple weeks. We're bringing the guys, right? It's always like a group thing, but like, I leave mine in Brooklyn. It shouldn't have to be like that, though. Y'all need to come to things like this, where it can be all ladies. I, I bring my, 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 my guy friends. Okay. I thought that was your boyfriend, girl. I'm like, bring that nigga with you when they go hang out. Why y'all can't be a couple? You like her? He Give him the mic. He has a partner. Oh, but why he here with you though, sis? His partner is a doctor. His partner is a doctor, and he is uh, he has a partner that's a he. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> His partner. I don't think that's gonna work at all. Did Trav just try to holler? He got a man. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Anybody else want to chime mm. in and ask us a question? Oh, we have a question right here. Hey, Natina. Where's Natina? Hello, hey, I just want to say, um, I'm from New York, Harlem. My name is City Santiago. Where you been? Because I watch every single week, all week, every week. I miss no weeks, but you've been gone. What's up? Where you been? I was, oh, well, thank you for noticing that I was gone. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I was in LA. I decided that, you know, I just wanted to live on the West Coast. Like, I feel like at this time in my life, I have these kind of opportunities where I could live wherever I want, and I'm not gonna have that forever, so, you know, you gotta take what you can while you can, you know what I mean? Gotcha, I ain't mad yeah. at you. But I'm, gonna, um, I'm getting, a, I still have my place in LA, I'm getting a place in New York, and I plan on spending more time here in New York, because I'm tired of taking five hour planes everywhere, it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's All right, so plan. yeah, so there but was no you. issues. People was like, oh, what happened to Stephanie? We said it mad times, though, and then we Yeah, we everybody saying, like, thinks that, like, we had a problem, and I just She left. moved. Yeah, we said it, like, five episodes. Like, I was going through a <laughs> midlife um, before I turned 30 crisis, so I just wanted to be like, you know, fuck this. I could do this. I could go do whatever I want. I'm grown. I could do what I want. So that's All right, what happened. We, we got another question right here. <laughs> I'm not standing up. All right, hello everyone, good hey. evening. Um, it's not a question, but it's towards the topic that y'all stated earlier, which you said, um, what is something a man can do that's embarrassing? Mm -hmm. This happened to a friend, and she said she checked her man's phone and she saw him getting curved. Oh, so that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Like, bro. <laughs> Can't even cheat right. And then, it make you, and then it make you feel like, damn, this bitch don't even want him. Maybe I shouldn't want him either. Yeah. What? Like, see, exactly. you try to play me, and these whack-ass bitches is curving me, curving you. Like, you got me, and you can't curve my bitch. Uh-oh, here comes Gigi. Embarrassing. Gigi crazy. Whoa. Okay. Here comes Gigi. All right. Well, goddamn. Oh, she coming, coming. It's time for the twerk tutorial. Who is joining in the twerk tutorial? Somebody, we need some volunteers. Right here, right here. One. Who else? One more, we need one more. One more. Yes, come on, line him up. <laughs> I thought you wanted to twerk. You put your hand up, I was like, him. <laughs> I had to see that. Hey, sis, you need some Don Julio before you twerk? <laughs> yeah, we gonna get y'all a shot. Come up here and twerk. Yeah, somebody with a dress, they said. <laughs> the fuck? Can we put some music on or that does shit, have to rap? Look at that shit. Oh, yeah, I'm about to rap so y'all can twerk. Is this okay? Or is this me too? She just me too move. Me. Jesus Christ, Gigi. Crazy. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna need some direction. Come on, Erica. Erica, come on. I, I got somebody else for you. I got somebody else for you. All right, Trav, you too. I need y'all to shake y'all ass. Come here. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 
On behalf of Flute Out Airlines, we'd Help. like to thank you for flying. Wait. We'll be landing in Miami shortly. I gotta give the direction. Please prepare the Oh, hey. 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 Hey.